how to integrate Gmail with Monday.com. Now, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this pretty quick and easy video because it's actually not that hard to do. Now, this is a step by step tutorial, so just follow what I do and you will get there. So, yeah, I over here have a contacts board. So, I've over here I have a couple of different contacts. Now, if I were to click on a specific contact, you can actually add a widget. Now, here in the widget section, you want to scroll down to see emails and activities. Now, that is where you want to click on in order to connect or integrate your Gmail to uh, money.com. So click on here and this will uh, this is how it will look like. I can actually make it a little bit bigger just like that if you would like to uh, or not. But basically, this is how it looks like. Now, in order to actually add your Gmail account is if you go to the settings right over there. Now here at the top, it says email account setup and privacy. These settings affect your entire account. Email account permissions apply to all workspace in your account. So keep that in mind. Now then in order to actually add a Gmail address to your uh, monday.com is simply by clicking on add account. Now I already have one connected over here, as you can see, but simply click on add account and then you can either select Gmail or Outlook, but you will probably click on Gmail since you clicked on this video. Now click on Gmail then um, use another account. Well, this probably doesn't even look like that for you, but then click on connect. Then here you can select any email you would like to, but I already have one connected. So I'm gonna go back and um, just go back just like this. And now you have connected your email address. Now there's a couple of different settings that you wanna keep in mind, so go back and over here, you can either choose automatically log all my outgoing emails from Gmail and Outlook into emails and activities timeline, or only log outgoing emails into emails and activities that are BCC to the address below. So you have to keep that in mind that um, when you use your regular email, um, even outside of money.com, then those emails will be tracked in here, or you can only log outgoing emails that are BCC to this specific uh, email address, which means that if you send emails from monday.com, these will pop up in here. But if you send for emails outside of monday.com with the same email address, then these will not pop up in here unless you add the uh, this BCC manually when you are in Gmail as well, then they will also show up in here. So keep that in mind. Then you can also set up automations, add an email signature, remove the monday.com branding, which I definitely recommend. You can also block specific email addresses to, to never log, um, log them. And yeah, so then you want to create a new email. And uh, like I said, you don't have to add the BCC because um, you're already sending it via monday.com. Here you can select your email address so then you can add a subject and just type in something. You can also add or uh, save templates right over here. And then you can uh, simply click on send. Now then this email will show up in here as you can see. So that is kind of it. That's how you can do it. There's also one other way in order to integrate Gmail to monday.com. And that is if you click over here on integrate and then search for Gmail right over here. So then once you click on there, uh, you can uh, see a bunch of different um, automations and integrations. So every time period, if status is something, send an email to someone. So this is, for example, very handy if someone is uh, close to their due date and they haven't finished it yet. Then you can send an automated email to that person. And yeah, that's actually pretty cool. So I hope this video helped you out. Let me know in the comments if it did. And then I will see you next time.